Welcome to another episode of Co-op Master. Remember to subscribe to our channel and click on the notification button so that you can get a notification every single time a new video has been loaded. In today's episode, we are going to cover this rig, which is called a multi-stiff rig or a stiff multi-rig. And I use coated braid for the boom section. Let's quickly put it together. Items needed to put this rig together. Mouth trap 15 pound. Dark matter 18 pound. Kamakura chod. Floss. Dark matter putty. Medium rig rings. And a piece of silicon tubing. I start this rig by taking a piece of the mouth trap and immediately I join the two pieces together, the two ends, and I make a little kink. That is going to be my slip D and I'm going to do the all bright knot on this side. I start off by taking off about 35 centimeters of the dark matter coated braid and I cut that off and then I measure 14 centimeters of that braid and I'm going to strip that with my stripper tool. There we go. And now I'm going to make an all bright knot. And I take my mouth trap that's been folded and I'm going to measure four and a half centimeters. And at four and a half centimeters, I'm going to fold them both pieces like that. And that's the start of my all bright knot. So I'm going to take the braid and push it through the end. And I'm going to push it all the way so that I've got a piece of the coated braid through that little loop. Now I'm going to tie the old bright knot and I'm going to go around all these filaments. That's two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and back four times. That's one, two, three, and four. Now I'm going to take that line and I'm going to push it through the front end because this line is coming through the back. So I'll push it from the front to the back so that both of them end up in the same direction. Now I'm going to just work this knot back towards that loop like so. I'm going to now take the puller tool to really pull tight on this knot. <coughs> and there we go. Now I've got quite a few tag ends and I'm going to proceed in just cutting them off one by one. Starting with the braid. There we go. And then the two tag ends. But what I'm going to do with the two tag ends, I'm going to cut it off a little end, leaving me with two little tag ends. And that I'm going to take my lighter and I'm going to just nick them and give it a dab. Now I know that knot is going nowhere. Now comes the tricky part of this rig. I'm going to take my splicing needle and the silicon tubing, push the silicon tubing through, and I'm going to hook it onto my mouth trap loop, like that. Then I take my Kamakura Chodi, turn it on its belly, and take that folded line and push it through, like that. 
Now the tricky part. I need to try and work that silicon tubing through the eye of this hook. Let's see if I can get that done. There we go. Like so. Now I'm sure you will wonder why I've got the silicon tubing through the eye of the hook. Now because we work with a very stiff bristle filament, it is known to pop off your hook at some or other stage. So by putting that in, I'm actually trapping the line and making it nice and tight. So it doesn't pop off. Now I can take my medium rig ring, slide it on, and then pop it over like that. And now I can just use my nail of my thumb and forefinger to just pull this line down and then by using my choddy tool I can just open up that little loop like that. At this point we can actually finish the rig off at the end so again I'm going to go to 21 centimeters then fold my braid and then make a double overhand knot. That's one. And two. And I'm just going to gently pull down on it like that. Then I'm wetting it with a bit of saliva. Take my puller tool. And just pull down on the knot. Now I can just uh, cut the tag end off, like there, and we're almost done. Now I just take a piece of my dark matter putty, and I need to just put it around that knot. And the nice thing is the knot actually helps me mold that putty really nicely and I know that the putty is going to sit as I want it it's not going to pop off it's not going to slide off or anything and then all that is now left for me to do is just to straighten this braid and put a bait on but it will actually end up sitting like that hiding the braid through the steam but not right right in the mouth of it and then I want to just get a slight kink on this on this line so I'm just going to hold it over the steam like that job done my choice of bait is a banoffee pop-up that has been soaking in isotonic goo so I just push the baiting needle through, take a piece of floss, and then I just push the floss through the medium rig ring, like that. Get the two ends together, and then I just fold it back, like that now i've got a nice thick piece of floss that will hold the bait nicely together and i've got a nice big blob at the end once i burn it with a lighter there we go just give it a dab and there we have a very very nice looking rig now for the tank test. And there you have a perfect stiff multi-rig. Another one for your armory. Mm -hmm.